Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. It's Friday, so we are going to have a Friday fun. And this one is about the Northern Lights. Okay, we've all seen them. We've all seen pictures of them, at least. But this may be the first time we all get to see pictures of them from space. So we're just going to take a look at 12 pictures from space here. We can thank our tax dollars and NASA for this. So it says Earth's poles are alive with lights. The northern and southern lights are created as magnetic storms, which have been triggered by solar activity, such as solar flares or coronal mass ejections. So you got land on the bottom. Look at all the lights. And the northern lights above, always red on the top, green on the bottom. But you can see how far over the Earth they actually are up in space. That's an interesting shot there. So wars happen on both sides of the world, as below as on top. And in perfect sense of symmetry, the Aurora Australis, as the southern lights are known, streams across the Earth's atmosphere above the southern Indian Ocean. This picture was taken in 2021 from the International Space Station. And then you got a green halo here. Sticking it to the south, we have a halo curling over the southern hemisphere. This picture was taken in September of 2005, more than 600 miles above Earth. So yeah, a green halo. Looks like around the poles. Uh, right here, they have what you call a green curtain. A green aurora slices through the south between Antarctica and Australia. This was taken in 1985 on Challenger. SpaceX Dragon is watching the Earth light up in hues of green, orange, and red. This was taken in 2016 from the International Space Station. A celestial starburst. Tim Peake saw this spectacular view in 2016 as bands of red, green, and orange auroras dance above the Southern Hemisphere. Taken in 2016 in the International Space Station. They say this is a Canadian showstopper. This is the one that we saw on the first one. And then a cosmic waterfall is what they're calling this one. Being green with a crash of blue light is one way to wake up. Taken from the European Space Agency in 2017. A swirl of green, almost carpeting the earth with light. Green and red auroras swoop over the clouds and ocean. Taken from the International Space Station in 2014. You can see parts of the craft right there. In the mist. This is what an aurora looks like when you're in it. <laughs> um, this was taken from the International Space Station in 2016. And it was when the space station passed through a fog-like aurora. A reaching hand. Taken in 2012 by the International Space Station astronaut Andre Coopers. K-U-I-P-E-R-S. The green aurora looks like it's stretching out over Earth. A sea of green. <laughs> Hanging over a green giant, the space station gazes at a sea of auroras below. Red on the top here, green on the bottom. With Orion. Can you spot Orion? I don't really know my constellations, but I'd say it's somewhere right in there. Endeavor snapped this stunning picture as a multicolored aurora spikes towards the constellation Orion while the southern hemisphere is blissfully unaware below. So, it's Friday, and we're just having a little bit of Friday fun here because even though we've all seen the northern lights from Earth or seen pictures of them from Earth, seeing them from space is a whole different story. A Friday fun, people. Stay tuned.